be this week i'm living out my best childhood fantasy i'm feeling like a pink power ranger honey i always wanted to be the pink power ranger let's just get into these readings honey hey girl <laughs> my pink power ranger power is just too much for the singing ball <laughs> oh my beautiful taurus how are you doing my name is simply velka and today taurus i'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Taurus, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Taurus. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Taurus, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you do find some cards that resonate with you, Taurus, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know how the cards resonate and in what way, uh, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, Taurus. Also, if you do find some cards that resonate, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does support my tarot reading channel a lot when you guys do that, Taurus. So I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step, Taurus, to assist me, or not assist me, but just help me out and support my channel in that way, Taurus. Uh, but before we get into this reading, uh, the final thing I want to say is that I do not feel like any uh, tarot reading, any tarot cards should be making choices in your life, Taurus, because I believe that tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give you a perspective, something for you to think about as you go throughout your week, as you go throughout your days, right? Because ultimately it's your choice to make, not mine, you know, it's your life to live, so... All that being said, Taurus, let's just start getting into your weekly general reading this week. So the overall, like, I guess, we'll, what is the word that we'll call this? I would say like the hurdle that we'll say for you this week, Taurus, or more so like the objective of what it is that you're going to be working towards this week or where, how things will be panning out will be the Queen of Rings or the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. Now, Beautiful card to have. This is the Queen of Pentacles in normal to Rome, but the Queen of Rings is all about Taurus, about um, being realistic, but in the sense of where it's kind of like almost saying like being realistic with your own limits, Taurus. So with the Queen of Rings, she's someone that is able to create all these wonders in her life. She's able to provide for herself. She's able to just bring forth a lot of self-peace because she is very much so able to manage for herself. But also with the Queen, with the queen of Rings, Taurus, there is this sense of knowing when the queen of ring needs to ask for help knowing when the queen needs to just take a moment and have a breather or to just you know just accepting those results as they are so with that being like your overall what it is that you're going to be working towards this week towards definitely keep this in mind as you go throughout your week and how you could probably perhaps be kinder to yourself you could probably um you and when it's in the name of um bringing forth stuff in your life maybe just lower your not lower your standard but like be at least able to acknowledge Taurus where that you have a critical view of yourself or more so such a high standard of like what you'll put yourself to compared to everybody else right um so not to say that you're doing anything necessarily wrong Taurus just like make sure that you do not allow this high you know don't allow don't beat yourself up, basically, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You can have some really good weeks, you can have some really strong weeks, Taurus, and it's perfectly okay as the Queen of Rings to have some weeks where, you know, not a lot is going on, where it's some weeks where it's just like, you don't even put any energy into, like, things that you've been actively wanting to manifest, whether it's a person, a situation, job, like, whatever, whatever it is, be okay with um, acknowledging that just because you're not putting energy into something every day consciously or something's not coming into fruition for you instantly, that doesn't have anything to do with your own ability to uh, create. That doesn't have anything to do, that doesn't speak on anything to do with yourself, I guess is what I'm trying to say towards. So continuing on with this reading though, um, for your first general spread tours, <laughs> excuse me. Honey, the burps are already trying to come out <laughs> early on in y'all's reading. Uh, so the main focal point of this message here is the wheel card, Archangel Michael. So definitely, uh, Taurus, judging based off of your other cards um, here, which I know you can't see it quite yet, but there is just the sense, Taurus, of... Um, Kind of needing to remind yourself that things are, you know, there's a quote from um, Oprah uh, and it's something along the lines of things are consistently always working out for her. And I know it just sounds kind of like, well, girl, of course, when you're like a billionaire, of course, things are just going to work out, right? But it's more so the concept of where it's like Oprah adopted this mindset 
uh, Taurus, just because um, even when she was going through her hard times, when she was going through her struggles, um, it was just like during those times that she was able to remind herself that she was able to view this as like building character or realizing um, that she's just being turned into the right direction, essentially, right? Uh, for her and her situation was Taurus that she um, and wanted to be like a news reporter. And then she ended up being demoted um, to uh, speaking for some type of television, being like a co-host or something. And at the time, it could have she could have viewed that being that demoted from being a news reporter as like a bad thing. But then she actually realized it was for her to like go into her actual calling. Um, so view it in that way, Taurus. View uh, the things that you are going through right now, even if it's just mentally or in the outside world. View this in a way where it's just um, don't view the things that you're dealing with as a way that's impeding you or trying to slow you down. View it in a way of where it's just bringing positivity in your life, how it's uplifting you, how it's building some character on you. Let's put a more positive twist um, to things, right? Let's have a more positive approach or a perspective when it comes to just handling the things in our lives, just because even if we were to dismiss like the manifestation factor, Taurus, let's just, you know, let's, it's better to feel some of those like um, <laughs> uplifting, high, uh, hopeful emotions compared to like being in this place of anxiety, being in this place of being scared of um, taking a chance or more so, this is more so not necessarily taking a chance, but more so um, this gives me heavy like abandonment issues. Taurus with this five of pentacles and this ten of swords because with this dynamic it's um very much so feeling anxious about stuff that you already have overcome or stuff that you've experienced in the past that you know some wounds that either left scars Taurus or um wounds that are still like freshly open for you for you from past situations that you know caused maybe some anxiety a lot of anxiety maybe in terms of financial in your life a lot of maybe just like um anxiety when it comes to certain people right and just being able to like figuring out um towards maybe you're trying to figure out how to uh figure out trusting people again right um so with this dynamic it's almost just like taurus letting me know with this wheel card it's just like such a, uh, it feels like a lot of you guys are starting to doubt, Taurus, um, things actually working out for you. Um, it feels as if, like, some of you guys may probably feel like you need a lifeline right now, because I keep on being shown, like, some, like, someone, like, throwing, you know, like, those, like, what lifeguards will have, like, those circular, like, floats or whatever, and, like, tossing it. I keep seeing that, so it does feel like for a lot of you Tauruses, you need, like, a lifeline, where you kind of just need be like you know even you're receiving this reading to us and you're just like probably like it's like okay honey like that sounds good and all Velka but like you know you can say this wheel is turning in our favor right now but um you know <laughs> maybe you just want to clock out for a lunch break right um sadly what life just doesn't work like that right if I had control everyone would be on their lunch break everyone would have their hour-long lunch break right but um, here, here's like the uh, bottom part of this message though. We have the Magician card and the Wheel card again. So this to me, Taurus, is just like the sense of um, you wondering if you're even able to handle something anymore. You wondering if you're able to create and bring stuff into your life. So it does make sense as to why this Queen of Pentacles is like your, um, the energy that you're, the objective, I guess we'll say, the objective <laughs> or like the quest uh, to accomplish for this week. Uh, Taurus is to obtain this Queen of Pentacles energy and where it's just all about you um yeah it's just like really being able to just acknowledge like just because like a farmer has like one bad like harvest right or like part of their like harvest goes bad the farmer shouldn't at least feel self-conscious about being like oh well, maybe I just am not meant to be a farmer anymore right um you know life has its ebbs and flows and well um, that doesn't, that isn't me trying to, um, sound dismissive of your situation, Taurus. It's more so me trying to just give a little bit more perspective and just being able to be like, you know, crap happens sometimes, you know, and sometimes that stuff happens for quite a while, right, Taurus? And so I can look at this and understand where it's just like, maybe for a while, Taurus, you've been working towards a lot of something or putting energy, being hopeful towards something. 
for a long time now um and it's just like after working on it for so long you're just like okay like how much longer do i need to continue putting investing energy into the, into this person into the situation before it's actually showing like some positive signs until you start seeing some positive omens and reminding you that you're on the right path um yeah like with this hierophant and this eight of wands here it's just especially with this um seven of wands as well uh and the <laughs> I, sh I should just show you guys these cards all at once yeah with this ace of swords as well like ace of swords hierophant seven of wands and then eight of wands this is such a dynamic taurus of where it's just like it's like you're trying really hard to get in touch with your intuition not your intuition your i mean maybe your intuition but i associate the uh, hierophant more so um taurus as the individual in touch with their higher self so you're really stressed about making the right long-term decisions um for your future this is very much so like a future focused energy and that's probably why you're feeling a little bit anxious because you're being so focused on the future right you have all these creative ideas you have all these um things that you could consider these possible avenues with this ace of swords and you're kind of ready to take action you kind of just like being like you know you're ready for that change you're ready for something to just to just shake things up in a way of where um hopefully in a different way it starts giving you results right that's the thing it feels like you're just trying to find the right road to take which what to let go of and what to grab at uh towards to figure like you're trying to figure out where it is you know you're looking for that lifeline you're looking for that like one thing to be like aha i'm doing this right at least right um with the seven of wands this is just definitely a Taurus, just such a you know i'm not gonna sit here and promise to you and say that like things are going to definitely be easier like get easier for you just because we acknowledge this right taurus but i definitely do see this as a message taurus that like you know like ebbs and flows just keeps popping up in my head and just right now right now it does feel like taurus you just need to be uh more forgiving with yourself and not as self-critical um about like how the situation is right now right remind yourself that you are the magician right that you are fully capable right so if you are starting to get in your head about something uh taurus just because you aren't seeing the instant results of it right um don't get in your head about it because your harvest day is coming it may not be today it may not be next week honey but it is coming um you're definitely on the right path i feel like that's kind of like the overall message for that uh taurus is the spear wanted to let you know that you're on the right path um and because like it's, i'm definitely getting like a lot of you tauruses are having some um, doubting yourself heavily and like your own potential and like your own like the actions that you're taking for your life you're just like okay like am i actually um you know doing the thing right so uh taurus let's talk about the blessings that are going to be coming for you this week right i want to shift things up in these readings it's just like you know i don't want to always just talk about like the deep self-reflective stuff let's talk about the good things to come this week but good things that we can uh look for for my beautiful tauruses right what good things can we expect for my beautiful tauruses this week right what good things Oh, I can't take all those cards, honey. So what? <laughs> Give me a moment, Taurus. Um, I always do and heavy into my intuitive nature when it comes to my uh, tarot readings. And so I don't... <laughs> very particular about what cards I choose. And they have to just hit right, you know? Maybe I'm just crazy. So, Taurus, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and then the Nine of Wands. So, yeah. I mean... The blessings to come this week, Taurus, it does seem to be a, um, this week, I do feel like for some of you guys that you have been searching for a lifeline, um, you are going to get a sign of it, right? Um, at least more so a sign of where it's just like, this week, Taurus, I feel like you're going to feel a little bit more comfortable in the path that you're taking, or more confident in being able to be like, okay, like I'm getting off at exit 38, right? Whatever that exit 38 situation is for you. You're just going to be more confident in the decisions that you do make this week. And it's because of this eight of pentacles here. This eight of pentacles and this nine of wands is such a dynamic of where it's like you learn something more about yourself. There's some type of learning going on and you're just like, oh, okay. You know, you're just like, if we're going to use the example of like, um trying to figure out like your spiritual gift as an example right taurus it's like this week if you're trying to figure out like your calling for a spiritual gift what it is that you lean the most towards 
it does show to me like through something going on this week because this 901 definitely isn't i mean it's not rainbows and sunshines but it is definitely like you overcoming some struggles but then also being like oh i didn't know i could do that right and then it's from there you're just like oh wait a minute i didn't know i could do that but let me chase after this a little bit more let's go a little bit deeper right um so definitely for this dynamic it does show to me taurus that well, things may, may not be getting your harvest this week, but you may start seeing like uh, evidence of that harvest time coming pretty soon for you, if that makes sense, right? You're starting to see signs of your plants blooming, right? First signs of spring. <laughs> so the clarifiers that we pulled before you, Taurus, for these cards is the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. Funnily enough, we get this. Um, and then the Four of Pentacles. So I say it's funny, Taurus, just because this is the Harvest card. Uh, quite literally, the Harvest card um, for this. So um, this is kind of confirming exactly what I was saying before. So I'm glad that we pulled these clarifiers. Because with this Four of Wands, this is that Portal card. This is that 1111 card, Taurus. This is a card that when I see this, it's kind of like a... Uh, you just have to, um, like, it's already in the bag, essentially. You just have to walk forward into it, right? Nothing more that you need to do, right? With both of these cards, it's one of those things of, like, nothing more that you yourself need to do to make the situation better other than continuing feeding, feeding energy into the things that you've been planting. Just continue doing what it is that you've been doing because it's already in the work. It's already creating uh, in the process of being created, Taurus. So with the Seven of Swords as well, definitely is showing to me as a sign of um yeah just again a repetitive message towards so just like getting out of your head about it right stop stressing out like stop checking um your plants your seeds every like your seven seeds right you don't need to be checking it every hour on the hour every day right to see be like oh is it is it like taking root yet is it is it budding yet right you know be a little bit more hands-off towards right that's probably what's causing some of your anxiety is because of the um, almost, uh, what's the word for it? I can't think of the proper word for it, so I guess it's better for me not to say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Taurus, now let's just get into, um, some final messages this week for you, Taurus. Let's just see some final thoughts from Spirit. These two cards as well. So we have the, uh, um, neurotic that's the word towards it almost feels like neurotic and something that you're like really like you can't get it out of your head it's just you know obsessing over it uh so the cards final thought or final messages for tarot messages for you taurus this week we have the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles the chariot card and the two of cups now taurus i don't know what it is that you guys are trying to manifest right with these pentacle cards all these pentacle cards that keep coming through it's what i what i like to say because it's like my readings are always collaborative right i'm never going to speak on one specific thing because these general readings reach thousands of people obviously you guys are not all leading such a specific situation but it is showing to me with pentacles is whatever it is that you're actively putting like the most energy into the main thing that you're trying to manifest or bring into your life right with this ten of pentacles and this chariot card it's like it's you're on the path like you're on the proper path i always say like with the chariot taurus the chariot doesn't show up unless you're on the proper path and you're continuing on in that fashion two of cups does come in as this just, I mean, this is a happiness card. This is, does cover in terms of emotions as well, Taurus. So if it is in regards having some situation, um, being unsure about this, a person that you maybe have been putting a lot of energy into, whether it's a person or whether it's a situation, um, it does seem to be like you're going to get some type of closure on it, Taurus. Now, again, notice, uh, notice I'm saying closure, not saying that something like just a straight up blessing, right? Um, I see, I say closure with this two of cups because it's like, I see it as a blessing because I'm optimistic in that way, but I don't want it to be false advertising in the sense of being like, oh yeah, this is such an energy of where it's just like, if you are working towards like a person, 10 of pentacles, chariot card, family life, right? Everything, stability. It's like, oh, definitely going to be working. Like this person's the meant to be the one, right? I just get the sense that like nine of pentacles here, you guys are going to be showing to you this week something that got kind of Taurus just is like puts things in perspective for you being like oh okay that's how it's going to be sort of thing right and it's from that realization that's why I see it as like a blessing because then it just puts you 
um, it gets you mentally um, on the same page with everything else and it allows you just to move on with your life, right? If you get closure in the sense that like something just isn't going to work out and you're just washing your hands clean of it, well, honey, you're washing your hands clean of it because you're opening yourself up to something new, something that may be of more resonance for you, uh, Taurus. So that's how I like to see it as. And your final clarifiers, Six of Cups, the Temperance card, and then the Knight of Cups. Now, funnily enough, Taurus, this is such a cliche of um, someone coming up with an offer towards you, someone, um, <laughs> you know, Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. These are both offering cards, right? These are cards where it's just like, this is like a, whenever I see this card, this lets me know if it's like a more of an older energy, there's history there, Taurus. And then with the Knight of Cups, I mean, both of these are exchanging cups, right? And we can't neglect that Two of Cups that we saw before. Temperance card does come in as that patience and also more cups. So, um, I mean, just being, if I were to be receiving this reading for myself, Taurus, I'd be like, okay, there's someone that, something that, you know, having patience at this time, right? Because eventually some type of offer is being made, whether it's offer of like some opportunity presenting itself or like a person uh, presenting itself. Have patience at this time. I do feel like it's correlated with those pentacles. Um, they're coming right? They're coming in a sense of like the blessing and whatever that blessing takes to shape for you, Taurus. So um, fabulous reading, fabulous reading. I really hope you did enjoy this reading style, Taurus. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card called out to you the most. Um, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading, Taurus. And then also, I would really appreciate it, Taurus, if you were to share a video, one of my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. But until next time, my beautiful Taurus, I'll talk to you later. I love you so much.